the last few weeks I've mentioned that I have an actor routine but I haven't gone too specific so this week I'm going to bring you along and show you eight things that I try to do every single day to level up my acting and for every task that I do I will put a 15 to 45 minute timer to make sure that each task does not feel overwhelming and also so I don't spend too much time doing one thing and if you're also looking to create a routine or new habits I really recommend this book atomic habits you've seen this book before i think you should finally go read it to start off i'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and memorize if i try to do this in the evening i'm just thinking about other things i need to do and today i am working on two monologues for the yatu sabes monologue competition and um a scene for castability i'm almost done memorizing everything so i'm gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and just say everything out loud i have them written down here if i do have it i'm gonna go ahead and get up say it as i am doing other things because it is distracting to be thinking like oh i need a hanger or whatever and be trying to say those words so while i'm up and cleaning if i find that i'm having trouble with any part of the text i'll come back sit down not try and distract myself and just go over those few sentences so i won't just go over the part i'm having trouble with but i'll go over a little bit before and a little bit after because what's already in my brain a little bit before and after is already there so i'll just repeat everything so that that middle part that's missing really gets into my brain so let me sit here for a second and say these. Oh, it's you, the party pooper who ruined the PTA meeting. Had real talent, you know. Scene study time. This week I'm working on two monologues and a scene. So I'm going to do a scene study for one of the monologues. And I do have a video here of questions that I uh, answer to really put myself in where I am, my relationship with the other person in the scene. And if I'm at that point where it's ready to get on its feet, I will perform it live here in my bedroom <laughs> um, and just play with it and find new things about the scene and see how I want to perform it once it's ready to be filmed so I can send it in. Once I am performing it and doing it standing up, that will really tell me if I actually have all of the text in my head or if I just need to sit down and go over some of the parts again so that I'm really, really memorized and I, because I want to be in the moment acting rather than being like, What's my next line? So I have uh, the questions here for my monologue and it's pretty simple questions uh, at this point. It's like, who am I? So I'm putting uh, some backstory to it, what my relationship is with the other person in the scene. So um, what do I want? Why am I annoyed? So for this one, I put I'm a 31 year old mom of three who got pregnant at 17 and I'm the PTA president. And so I want to be in control. If I want to make this part of my day a little bit more social, I will be a reader for a good friend of mine if they have an audition so that I am actually practicing a scene with somebody else or I'll go on an app or a Facebook group to be a reader for somebody else's auditions or rehearsals. Here are some of the places you can do that. Self-tape practice, 100% inspired by Audrey from Audrey Helps Actors, the podcast. Uh, but like I was mentioning, I'm working on a castability scene, so it's time to record that. Don't know if I'm going to submit that. Um, if you don't know what castability is, it's an app. It's free if you don't submit to get feedback or it's $29 if you do want to get feedback. But it's an app that gives you a bunch of scenes and you can record them and practice them. And they do have a reader recorded already if you want to use that or have somebody read with you. You can also upload the scene. I don't want to bother my fiance because he's also working in the other room while I'm working in here. So I'm going to record that on the app. And one of the things that I love to do is industry research. So I'll set a 30 minute timer and go on deadline.com and just read about what shows are being canceled, what shows got renewed for how many seasons, um, and just different articles that they post on there. Really good industry research because this is all about Hollywood and TV shows and films. Big shout out to Ranjeev from the Meisner Center in Burbank because he put me onto this website. 
Another thing that requires very little effort is tracking people through IMDb Pro. You can literally click track and see what other things they are working on if you love a specific show. For example, right now I'm on a huge showrunner kick, so if there's a show that I love, I will look up the showrunner, track them, and then put them on the spreadsheet so that I can keep track on my own as well of what they're working on or what they have worked on. And then once an opportunity pops up, I am very familiar with their work and I can audition for them. Good morning, it's Friday and um, another thing I love to do is research mixers whether it be in person or online and today I'm going to do an Aura Meet Your Tribe call. If you don't know what Aura is, it's an online um, casting company. Taylor, uh, he's one of the casting directors, he often will host different things to connect or get to know you. So today at 10 a.m. we're going to do that call. And then other ones that I know about are the Bay Area Film Mixer. There's a bunch in LA in person. I know the Latinx Writers Meetup is one my friend told me about. Um, of course, the Southwest Actors Conference, it's going to be a huge in-person mixer with other actors, but also just a bunch of casting directors and other creatives. I recommend just Googling and I'm searching on Facebook. There's a lot of um, Facebook groups that have information about meetups. Like you can search something super specific like Sacramento actors, directors, writers, and you should be able to find something on Facebook. Now, a lot of people do Facebook events, uh, Eventbrite events, meetup events. So just searching to be able to find creatives. I did meet Javier Fonseca Mendoza, who I'm making Pizza Monster with on Facebook because uh, he was casting a commercial and then we've created so many things now and I'm so grateful that I was able to find a person that um, wants to create a lot of things that I'm also interested in. Let's fast forward to 10 a.m. when uh, we go to this call. Right now I am doing a series on YouTube Shorts where I'm skating every day until I get cast in a role, which it is partially for that, the, the series of videos, but really I wanted to have motivation to go out and skate every day and have fun, get a hobby that has nothing to do with acting. This will allow me to audition for films and commercials um, in the future because roller skating has become such a huge part of pop culture. Even if it wasn't going to bring me, hopefully, maybe an opportunity for acting, I would still do it. I know that was already eight, but I'm going to give you a bonus one. I'm in the bathtub, obviously, and um, I have a problem, or maybe it's a, a good trait that even when I'm relaxing, I feel like I need to be working on something. So I'm going to be watching some scripted uh, TV shows right now. And while I'm watching these shows, I am looking at who the showrunner is, who the casting director is, just basically all of the credits and I'm looking out for fun scenes that I might be able to use for self-tape practice or um, any characters that I might be able to audition for. But before I go, uh, if you haven't been watching my weekly vlogs, I've been doing an actor check-in and if you want to be accountability buddies, you can just comment what you did this week. I memorized four times this week. I did scene study twice. I did um, agent research twice. I did a self-tape audition practice. I skated nine times this week. <laughs> So let me know what you did this week to improve your acting. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. I've mentioned Close Friends before. Uh, it's a new song by my friend, Active Poet. So go check his song out and go check his channel out if you want.